Hello and welcome to what is actually a bonus episode of the American Adventure. This won't really help much in the way of things going on. There won't actually be any games played here today. This is just to see if what I did make a long term impact in, in the US and particularly with Orlando. I'm eventually going to resign here and just forward the game for probably be four years since we're in 2022. So the 2026 World Cup will eventually happen for it so we'll fast forward get to the end of it and see how the us get on see if they've made a difference maybe any of the young players we have brought through will eventually end up in the america squad or or does it do nothing really in the long term as well as that i'm just going to head on just see how Orlando city get on in the meantime see if they stay near the top of the mls or does the idea that basically everybody equals out after a while and because They'll get worse drafts every year because if they keep doing well, do they eventually drop and does it happen within the four years? So, I am going to, at the minute, I'm going to resign here now from a position. I'm not actually going to retire to the game, I'm just going to resign and see, first of all, how America gets on at the 2022 World Cup since I believe they have actually qualified for it. So, we'll get a look at that before. We'll go on for the four year run in the future, so resigning here now and that's my done with it, so it is. Three staff walked out, Cesar Bena, Patrick Velasquez and Alexander Jankovic. I didn't think I had that much of a close relationship with Cesar to be honest with you. He was there whenever I landed. And he was, so what's the alright? Patrick Velasquez, who is a uh, head of youth development. He was there for I went and Alexander Yankovic was more or less he's been in, he's been at the club the whole time but become my assistant at the end of the first season so I'm just going to fast forward here now just on holiday for the time being and see when hang on I'll just make sure that the uh, No, we have to search World Cup. Really? And we should get to when the final is here, so we should. The final is on the 18th of the 12th, so we'll holiday at the 19th. Actually, I'll make it easier. We'll just holiday to Christmas Day, so I will like make that the point in four years' time, so I will. So, holiday to Christmas. Not going to play the any jobs. If it stops in the meantime uh, with an interview, I'll just get it and away by. But we'll holiday on to Christmas and see how far out. Back now, the game has stopped at Christmas, so we're just going to take a flick through it here. I'm going to apologise here now. It's a wee bit of a rattling sound in the in the last clip. It was uh, hit the microphone, so. Uh, so what's the other one now? We unemployed. I don't know why that yet happened, like, but. Sure, nah, he's there, he was useful, so we'll see how it goes out. It's just what they get used to. Solari is the new manager, the former he's former Real Madrid manager, I think, so. So. The US jobs available? Actually, <laughs> actually, I might. Oh, yeah. I'll play for it. If I get it, I get it, and if I don't, I don't like, so. Omid Nazami, who are these people? Well, they beat him in the final of the MLS Cup, so did. And Adrian Heath, fair enough, he's very experienced. So, see so yeah, this first out. We're just going to go into the World Cup now, actually, so we are. If I can get out of it. World. World Cup. So, there we are. Some people say football manager too realistic, but you're England won the World Cup. You know, really, it's still a game. Like, hang on, let's see what way we can do it here now. What kind of best way to do this? Stages. I wonder, can you do second round? Just do like a tree from here. Aye, this will do all right. Uh, I'm least so well. So, Croatia, Morocco, Germany, Portugal, Italy, Poland, Spain, Ukraine, England, Colombia, Argentina, Mexico, France, Brazil, and Belgium, Holland. 
was the last 16. Mm. Fair enough, we'll take, we'll take, I'll just see, can we get a look at the final here, just, just see it as a round. So here's the Bingham game, actually in fairness, seeing the team looks fairly un, unspectacular overall. I don't think Reno would play for England, that's probably going to be, he plays for, he plays for Dortmund. I'm not sure if he picked Germany or the US to actually play for in real life, but or I think he's picked I think I think he's declared for the US. But uh, two goals from starting and Trent Alexander Arnold in the final. So Italy had a player sent off. But that as I said, that isn't actually an unrealistic England team. So it isn't well, they've learnt, they've learnt not to pick Pickford and Gold, so that's a good start, I suppose. And not pick Stone, so. Is Tom Davis the tech that is at Avon? No. Tamori and Pope was the third choice goalkeeper. Fair enough. Squad hasn't actually changed that much. I sort of thought, you know, with the thing and that actually being loaded, they might have changed things slightly, but. Let's go through here now. So. The awards, top goal scorers, Raul Jimenez, fair play to Is that a Wolves team of Werner? Is that Leipzig still in the game? So he is. Probably going to be Chelsea, like, but probably even by the time this video actually comes out. Dufan Zapata, who... Roma, Pakovic and Grealish, who's England's top goal scorer, the four. Fair enough. Mm, Ronaldo scored three, so... Me, 187, 187 caps and 112 goals. <laughs> it's probably not unrealistic, actually, with being him. But well, I'll go back to me. He's probably been here 40. No, 37. I wonder is. I wonder if Massey's still in the game. Just. Sorry, this just happened here now. It's just some new thought process kicked in. Davala is the vice captain. No, Massey's still there. Up 35. And there's only valued 4.2 million, so well, I suppose they're probably dropping at that stage, so they are like. So that's the that's the situation with the World Cup. If if I get the US job, but might actually make an series of it, like to be honest with you, just sort of carry on for a bit. And if not, that's it. I might even just go straight through and try and. Or I might just go through and actually sort of do the major tournaments actually to be honest with you. The US. Which would be the the Gold Cup. And the I uh, mainly for the Gold Cup sort of on the on the World Cup. But I uh, will go we'll go on ahead here now for the time being just and we'll see see what happens if I do get the US job or not. If I don't, I'll just go on ahead to four years, and if I do, I might actually carry on with it a bit. So we'll see when we go when we come back. Sorry, just back for the quick update. I uh, never got the US job. If I bite it, wrap up any days, which, in fairness, I can see why they've done it. Like he's very successful, I think. So we'll go on ahead now. We'll go to Christmas Day 2026 and just see how they get on at the next World Cup. We're back now for the final bit of this four four year advancement, just with Orlando. I haven't done anything yet, I've just sort of fought forward it four years, saved it. Closed the computer down and opened it up again. This is actually the following morning from the rest of the recordings. So, we can see already Vasilikovic is in China, so we'll just start there with him. So, this was the season he was MLS MVP. He had an off season where he didn't play overly well. Traded that an Alta. I need to get someone out of that, but traded that an Alta, he done well. Then went to China for 3.6 million. It looks to be about halfway through that season actually he went to China, so he's done two years in China. And has the past season got back to his form, so fair play to him. In terms of international caps, he only got, he only got three. He got the last one just at the end of the at the end of the 
series just so I got the first one at the end of the series so hasn't had that much so we'll go see now just how Orlando have got on so this is where we left them so 10th the following season 13th the year after that second year after that and 6th in the supporter shield so we'll see managers here now just going on ahead hate the caretakers so that's me still alright Sacked after 155 days, but has taken over San Jose Earthquakes. And has actually been there for a while, so he's found a team that looks like he's done alright at. He looks to have qualified for the playoffs quite a lot, so. So, ah, he's done alright for the look of it. He's in the playoffs consistently, so he's sacked, replaced by Matias Almeida. He's now at the Miami manager, but didn't last. It. Actually, he's lost it near a season, so he must have done all right. So he qualified for the playoffs and was knocked out with Inter Miami. He's won the league's cup actually and finished finished twenty fifth. But he did only come in that season, so he probably actually didn't do a big lot wisely. He's went on. He's finished fourth the year after, so fair play to him and qualified for the playoffs, but. Brad Friedel is with Vancouver now. Hmm. Didn't seem to do a big that he's done the whole tour. He was at, he was at Columbus. Orlando took him from Columbus and sacked him. He waited for near a year. Come around to Miami. They sacked him pretty quick. Following the DC United, they sacked him pretty quick. And actually, that's the second job this season. So. And has recently taken over Vancouver, so let's see how he gets on. Dan Henry, I think, did the tour while he was managing Orlando, so he did. So, he's Montreal. They're at the start of the game, sacked. And didn't really do much. LAFC. Jesus, he didn't really do anything there on that Orlando. He won the US Open Cup, but was still sacked. <laughs> about a month later, so that worked out eight. all right. And then Zednak on the Rashek has been there a couple of years, but look of it. Uh, he's done two full seasons, so he's also won the US Open Cup, which we couldn't win. But he also yeah, he had them runners up in the Sporting Shield, so. And um, semi final of the CONCACAF Champions League, quarter final the year after, so. He's done pretty well actually, he's been in the Champions League consistently every year, so fair play to him. But, well, now you see the current squad. Doesn't look to be anybody there. Oh, Coleman's still here. Mm, he's, he hasn't really got the form back that he had the season he was managing him. But he's actually had more output this season. So, mm, bit of a trade off there, but. He's played more games, so that's maybe why he's had more of an output, but on that. It's alright. He has value players, Verdi Benininga. He's, Jesus, six foot six. Oh, Jesus, I wish I had him. Six foot six Dutch centre forward. Signed from Ajax. Mm. See, oh, he's come through Ajax, signed for ten and a half million, being the last season. So he's done pretty well actually in fairness, so he has. And I wonder who the are, who designated players are just. Ovenheim Duras, I'm going to guess that does. He's a left winger. And they paid six million for him and for, he has done well from Elon, but so fair play to him. And Martin Cusata, who's on loan for the season and centre back's done alright. Uh, he came in for six months, so he's done alright there, Alex, with his. Hang on. Coleman was... No, I don't think he ever was a designated player. I remember that. I loaned him out thinking he was, but he actually wasn't. So, we'll go through the transfers here just to see how things worked out. 2023. Real squad players, by the look of it. Just went out. The only guy he'd seen with talking about this Giovanni Bastida Viola who 
Not four caps for Italy, but I do like, but so hang on, that's the wrong one again. Just here. So they signed them from Napoli for four point seven. He looks to have played a year and a half in the MLS and then we'll go back to Atalanta. But he's playing for Atalanta, though he must have been injured. He must have been I don't know, he was only halfway through that season, so he's playing regularly, they've loaned him back. Uh, he's got his dent the last debut this season. I thought he might have got it within the MLS, but in terms of players going out, who else here? Pereira I want to take Quang the fan, was that? For 1.8 million. And, yeah. I'd rather get it the first season by the look of it. But, no, he looks to have done alright. He played better when he had the full season, but he's since retired. Yuri has went to Braga. And, playing quite well actually, in fairness to him. He's playing well. So he's went to Braga. And became sort of the. Looks to be a fairly regular player for for Braga so fair play now he's 34 relax so he's not got Paul McVeigh whoa <laughs> this guy's picked up some player in Paul McVeigh like oh he started scoring goals for Northern Ireland too actually so he has yeah the record I think of 10 gaps and only two goals the last time I looked at it so he had enough half a season at Orlando Went to Saint Etienne for 3.6 million. Ripped up the French league for about a year or two. And then went to Barcelona. Away from playing well. So, mm -hmm. fair enough. That was a hell of a spot in fairness from them. So it was the following season. Anybody here? We had. No. Nobody there. The season after that, 2025. Harry went to, oh well, Harry went to Copenhagen, or Copenhagen, or it's, it's FC Copenhagen's how you pronounce it, in English, if it's Danish, different to Danish, I'm sorry, like, but it's, it's a team in Copenhagen, so I'm not even going to try and butcher that one, but, uh, there's the season he had with us, so, he ripped up the MLS for another two years, and then decided, right, and we're going back to Europe, and fair play to him. He's probably in the Champions League actually now. He's probably in the Champions League with Copenhagen, like so. Fair play to him. But. He's the. I think he's the only one here, like. Do you have a Viola? Who's there? Uh, he's the only one who we had. Oh, Manos went, Manos went for a free. This now at Austin. Sorry. Uh, he's only really a bit part player, like. In fairness, he played a lot that first season and then just dropped off. So it's how bad he does good play. Drew Dyer. No, I never had him. But that looks to be the players who they had who the facts they sold. Share because who's this guy? Right? I must have seen him when he arrives away. Uh, 1.9 whenever he left, then sold the last after 6 million. So, fair play. We'll see trades here now, so we'll. Back to 2022. Anybody? No. 2023. Michael Martin. Jeez, he's running around everybody, so he has there. Spent the season in Portland, spent the season in Kansas, spent the season in the New York Red Bulls, and now he spent the season in Cincinnati. Christ knows where he'd end up this team. So, Orlando's two pick, first round picks, and 2.4. And what's. He came to Orlando, I think. Up there, uh, so the bottom, for, the bottom, spent that amount on him for a year. And then sign him again. So he went for twenty twenty five first round pick and two and an international spot. So Yorber retired as a player, but he went to Dallas for the fifteenth fifteenth pick in the first round of twenty twenty three. 
and picked in second round. Mendes. I don't know they must get some picks in 2023 based on this. Because Mendes went to DC United as well. He's now... You know, back to Ecuador and there's now Jane Nossa sooner, so... Looks a bit, looks a bit of free, so it does. Uh, he's saying not so soon for nothing, so fair play to him. Very Ed went to Real Salt Lake, and we did, and he's now joined Minnesota, but hmm, flip. Hold on, he went. <laughs> he's been around the door more often than you buy Morton has. He was traded the Real Salt Lake, made two appearances. Traded the Dallas, made two appearances. Traded the Minnesota, made four appearances. Traded back the Real Salt Lake, made 14 appearances. Traded back to Nashville, made 27 appearances. Fair play though. And traded to Minnesota again, where he's averaged the seven. He's actually... He scored more goals this season than he has in his entire career. <laughs> so, fair play to him, like, but... Uh, so, let's see what else is. Scott Munoz went to Chicago. That's now Columbus. Oh yes. Uh, he didn't go right around. He just went to Chicago for a way. Played a lot the first season and died off. And then traded to Columbus. So he was. Mikael Barrios. He didn't have him, did it? No, no, brought him in. Then sold him. Munoz. Oh, no, that's that's one brought in, so it was. Eric Cavillo. No, that's another game brought in, so it was. We'll trap. Ollie Litton went to San Jose. He's now at LAFC. No, he's just wondering around that he's been. Played at San Jose, played a bit. Played for Reno, played a bit for San Jose, and now he's at LAFC. So he is. But. That's the last one. He were on come back. <laughs> he did. Rowan was traded back, but <laughs> Rowan come back to Orlando, but never actually played. Oh, Jesus, that's hardly really good. Way. So we're going through here now. Who all they get rid of? The team in the if the team in the rights Orlando does them getting sold. So Christian Tagita, right only Russell Canoes. He was brought in after me. Mike Flanagan went to DC United and it's now at Dallas. So he is. Or no, he went to DC United, Dallas. He played for DC United actually. Went to Toronto, back to DC United, and then back to Dallas. We did. Christian Roldan. Oh, no. Bennett went to Seattle. He's not in Nashville. He's not capped by the American team in fairness to him, so. He went to Seattle for a season, didn't really play, although he played well when he did play, so. Hmm. So he went to Nashville and he's just been at Nashville ever since, hitting goals every once in a while, so. It's alright, so it was, so. There's Fast and Akavich going. And that's it for that season. The game I'm actually looking for here is Zimmerman, so it is. Oh, Drew Flores went too, to Tacoma, Seattle's second team. So he never actually played for Seattle that much, but he played for Tacoma a lot. But, Alexis Gutierrez, oh for Christ's sake. He's going to the next big thing, but he's retired by 25. So he has, but that's it. Look, oh, Mark, was he here in the free? Nope, they're saying him afterwards. Klinsman? They're saying. So he was. So Klinsman come in and won out again. It's actually up on him at one point for a goalkeeper whenever he's about here. Whenever we're saying Jorber instead. So it was, but that's it. Holy oh, Guzman's still somewhere. Tulsa. We went to Tulsa and that was it. Twenty twenty three, Brian Rowe, who's a goalkeeper. 
Yeah, that just requires sort of thought you want to be honest with you. Nobody, nobody, nobody. Oh, for Christ's sake. He could wave straight away. We spent more for America, actually. I think I don't think even double figures whenever he left. What do you want to Europe for the look of it? I just went to Apple Hill and just played ever since. He's played fairly solidly, actually, in fairness. What did you get rid of him for? Courier is retired. Torres. <laughs> so they got rid of Torres and he's picked them up and he's now with that. He's, he's playing for Nice as well, actually. He is. Robert Nice not near the top of the French League or something. What does I see here? I should be when he's finished. So, Torres is playing for a mid table team in France, but he wasn't good enough for Orlando, basically. That's then. Romero was a goalkeeper. Diego Rubio was a. They signed him? Jesus. It was about him too at one stage, actually, but. No. And 2026, nothing. So. I think there was anybody sort of missing there. I don't think they actually won the MLS whenever, whenever it was away, like so. They lost the cup, they lost the Campo NS Cup and they lost the US Open Cup final that year. Lost the Champions League and lost the semi final of the MLS, so down here now. They won the US Open Cup but lost the first round of the conference. Fair enough. Nothing really out of the way there now. Lost the CONCACAF Champions League semi final. Lost in the fourth round of the cup, and lost just just lost every match in the cup there, and this is this season. So Champions League quarter final out by Cruz Azul. Won the U.S. Open Cup and lost the Eastern Conference, and that's the friendly for next season. So I wonder who won the MLS every year. So. That's just 2023 LA Galaxy, LA Galaxy, Seattle and Atlanta. But Atlanta was in the final for two years before. Who won the Eastern Conference? Atlanta, Atlanta, Toronto and Atlanta. So Atlanta have become the dominant team. So it was the LA Galaxy, LA Seattle and Seattle. But Seattle have made the final every year there, like and supporter sheet was won by LA Galaxy, LA Galaxy, Seattle and Atlanta. Mm, fair enough, not really there out of the ordinary, but sure. We're going ahead, we'll see. We'll see how America, well, Rafa Manita is still there, so that must be something. But. Uh, so, they must have done alright. They're, they're 13th in the world, so they must have done alright, actually. So we'll go back to. Look back 2022, put out in the group stage of the World Cup. CONCACAF Gold Cup quarter final. That must have been, there was one stage I noticed his job come, on, come under that. That must have been when it was. 2024, comfortably won the Nations League. So 2025, won the Gold Cup. And 2026, in the third round of the World Cup. And The third round must be the round before the quarter final, so it must be. Uh, the last 16 was when they went out, so it was. So. Let's see, 20, the water group contained the Czech Republic on our own, so fair play to them there, like, but. Second round's massive, so it is. So we'll just, we'll use this here scroll just so we can get a look at the whole lot. So Brazil beat Spain in the final. Brazil beat Italy and England or Spain beat England. Sorry, in the semi-finals. I think England and Italy was the final from the World Cup before, actually. So maybe get surprised me for mm, Ukraine, maybe. That's it, like. Colombia. I suppose Colombia probably quarter-finals wouldn't be that shocking. Not as much Ukraine anyway. There's the USN in the second round anyway. So it is. So we'll see. 
let's see what app goes for and all this. If we can start player V. No award winner, so. So, Sonny and Jack Grealish were second in the 2022 World Cup. So he was. And here I saw a one up on twenty thirty. Phil Foden, Ferran Torres. He must be in the game in real life if he's still about. Nice Valencia player. Oh yes. You can tell I didn't really watch that Liga if I hadn't heard of him. And Alessandro Bastoni is the third place. So I played him. Best goalkeeper, Donnarumma. He's two World Cup. Best young player. It was an American one that the 2022 World Cup flipped in though, it didn't realise that. He was at Atlanta too whenever he did it. <laughs> Fair play to him. Fair play to him I suppose. Uh, the dream team. If you get a bit of a black player show that. So 2022 it's half the England team basically. And there's a bit more variety. Allison, Fabinho, Casemiro, Ramon Zaharidia. The one seniors are right here. Miguel Silvera is at Real Madrid. That Plymouth in real life. There's one. And Gianji is a region for Germany. So, uh, 2020. Sorry, 2022. There's probably a few players you want to buy. Gossens is a German player. He's at Atalanta. So, go both, man. Carrer is a in real life that oh, Jesus he's just saying for PSG. It could be a Chalk, I don't know if that actually happened in game or not, so and Zanolio who the Bartonique starts at Roma. Uh so he's at Roma in real life, just he just appears to rip it up black, so But Where's that for like Gianni? No, he was So the Golden Boot 2022, Werner Jimenez split it. Would Jimenez not actually get that in real life, I think? Well, Jimenez would get that in real life for having played less games, I think. Sure he would. He's the director of football anyway. This one, 2026 is. Martinez, Mbappe and Dasha Gianu. See, them two split it because they only played three matches. But Jimenez would get that in real life though if he would because he played less. But eh. Uh, that's the um that's the Actually the thing I never actually checked was with the US team, if we go back to it. Will that me? I wonder what the option squad's like just wait right here now. So no no I'm trying to work out is any, anybody in our young squads got through that though? But Sean of <laughs> He's an Inter? Jesus Christ, he sounds Irish. Sweet us. Uh, you were saying that he comes through the Inter, he come, come into the Inter squad, sweet us. I don't think anybody here we had. No. We never had anybody, so. Timothy Weah. That's him, he's at Feyenoord, Lee. Starts the game at Lille. He's headed up at I think it was a year or two ago he got real good. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, he's been. You're talking about him loaning into the MLS. He mustn't turn out that good. So he wasn't there. But George Ballow, will look, George Ballow will look, could be a decent player if you're sort of in a championship level. I don't know. He's, he's, in, he's at a lot in the game, like, so he could turn out to be a decent player if he's there. But that's. That's the only one thing with this is mostly 2020. No, this is all fairly recent stuff. I'll just head up here see what the most recent one is. See what Joe's recommend. No, 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 that's it. Though. That's it. That's the, that's the whole series done. That's it. We're done with for the whole lot. So, thanks for watching the series. Yeah, I'm gonna say now my plan at the minute. Is to do a save with FC Sochi in Russia. 
just pull them up here now in this database. See what I like. Plan is to do it with this team, but we've branched about we've branched about the whole lot so have. Like primary, 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 primary. They're coming up and down teams so they have like so my plan is to do a save for this team. That's what my next one's gonna be. If got trippier ended up there anyway, so <laughs> mustn't be that bad. Actually he was in Russia and actually he was in Spain, went to Russia, went back to Spain, back to Russia again, so don't know how things have worked out for him like, but he's the only, he's the one of the only two players who's known in the game. And but that's my intention, so that's how it ended for it out. They never won the MLS again. They actually won the US Open Cup a couple of times. So yeah. that's the way I figured out too. Actually, just we were here, quite good. My management motivating. Still quite like him for some reason, but preferring defensive football, possession, high tempo pressing. Same players from lower level, the domestic game, and then the domestic game, but. Uh, that's it. That's the save over and done with what it is. So that's the whole lot over. Thanks for watching. I should have something up soon. So thanks for watching the series. If if you haven't if you haven't watched the rest of the series and somehow just come across this, there is a playlist actually for it. This will be the last episode of it. So it's there on the channel. So there is a horror for save as well, which was only one season that was crap to be honest with you, like but. It worked out, so thanks for watching and goodbye.